All right, man, peace. So, brothers, it seems as if we're finally starting to get an understanding of how much it cost Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed to sell out their so-called movement. According to the Wall Street Journal, it's less than $10 million, which confirms to me that, number one, Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed had nowhere near the case that they were trying to act like they had. And number two, they had nowhere near the information that they tried to allege they ever had on the NFL and that the NFL just wanted the story to go away so that they could move forward, as I've been stating, for a very long period of time now. It also explains why Colin Kaepernick's handler, Ness Nitty, is still desperately trying to troll the NFL over social media. So anyway, they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. And in the NFL, former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick and current Carolina Panthers safety Eric Reed sell their collusion grievances against the league, but according to a Wall Street Journal report, they will receive less than $10 million total. In other words, pennies. The settlement reached with Kaepernick and former teammate Reed. We have to understand something. Of that $10 million settlement, a good portion has to go to the lawyers. So by the time everything is all said and done, They'll probably each be receiving somewhere around three, three point five mil. Reed stems from a grievance Kaepernick filed against the NFL in 2017, alleging collusion by NFL owners. Kaepernick lodged his first protest during a national anthem back in the preseason of 2016. Now let's get you back to first take. The real question is, are all of Kaepernick's woke followers willing to send him one dollar each to make sure that Colin Kaepernick does not starve to death? Because supposedly they're stopping him from earning a living. So where are all of Colin Kaepernick's followers on social media to say that we're all going to send you one dollar each to make sure that you can live the rest of your life in relative comfort? <laughs> because what if that Nike money runs out? And now he's only going to get somewhere around three million dollars out of this settlement, which means what? The NFL is probably telling Colin Kaepernick, we don't need you in our league unless you're willing to conform. So maybe Colin Kaepernick might get desperate enough to try to come back into the league. Who knows? I doubt it, but who knows? So former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick and current Carolina Panthers safety Eric Reed settled their collusion grievance against the NFL. But according to the Wall Street Journal, they will receive less than $10 million total. I'm pretty sure that the Wall Street Journal got their inside information from someone associated with the NFL who wanted this information to come out in order to embarrass Colin Kaepernick, and justifiably so. Max, how do you think this makes Kaepernick look? Well, it makes him look like what he's always been, a pawn, a poser, a forger. And when I say a forger, meaning he's tried to attribute certain things to himself that never were applicable. He was never a revolutionary. He was never someone who was willing to quote unquote stand up for the people because he has no idea what so-called black people have to go through here in this society. He's someone who is a pawn, someone to be manipulated by various factions, and he'll continue to be manipulated by various factions. That's all he's ever been. That's all he ever will be. And I'm sure that many of his wokey woke fanboys out there won't like that. That's okay. Well, if we were to take that number as true, because it's according to the Wall Street Journal, a source briefed about the settlement, you know, assuming that number is true. Max Kellerman, knock it off. We know that the Wall Street Journal, they're not going to just put that number out there unless they've been able to verify it from, from more than one source. Once again, so-called black man, when you follow cultural Marxism, which is set up by the Caucasian Jews, especially the Caucasian Jew bankers, that's how you end up. You end up asked out. Certain cats might say, well, how can you say that Kaepernick is ending up asked out when he's still going to get a couple million dollars? How much money has he cost himself, though? It's not about how much money he's getting. How much money has he cost himself in the long term? Trying to act as if he's some type of activist or revolutionary when he's not. Because he has to continuously play a certain role to make sure that he does not come out of character. At this point, Colin Kaepernick is trapped inside of his own cult of personality. It looks like collusion is difficult to prove. And it looks like... Well, maybe collusion is difficult to prove because the collusion never happened. Maybe it was that Colin Kaepernick never truly understood or took a realistic approach to what he has to offer an NFL team. He bought into the hype of social media or he was just told to stand down by his sponsors and to not truly consider any of the realistic offers that he was receiving from NFL teams because he would look like a quote unquote sellout. 
Or maybe Ness Nitty just has her hands in his back and is telling him what to do and what not to do. Once again, she is his handler. Damages would also be difficult to prove very high because Kaepernick was not perceived as a surefire starter. He was kind of like a bubble starter. So, Oh, now you admit that he's a bubble starter. Before you guys were trying to act as if he was the light-skinned version of Tom Brady. So one of the best 64 quarterbacks in the world? Yeah. One of the best 32? At that point, debatable. And so you start to look at what backup quarterbacks make, and I know he's dealing with... Wait a minute, Max Kellerman. Aren't you on record as stating that you wanted the New York Giants to bring in Colin Kaepernick so that he could be your team's new starter? Now it's quote-unquote debatable whether or not he's one of the top 32 quarterbacks in the NFL? That's interesting. According to reports, um, you know, awarded treble damages three times what he might have made, but what is that number? But uh, let me say more about this. Um, if... You know, how, how, according to sources briefed about the report, does this information look Cap, make Kaepernick look good or the NFL look good? It makes the NFL look good because that number, although to a working person or anyone really, $10 million sounds like a lot of money. We know based on what these guys are paid and based on what the potential was in this lawsuit. Once again, $10 million is not what Colin Kaepernick is going to get. Remember, he has to split that grievance settlement with Eric Reed. And then they have to pay their lawyers. So it's not going to be 10 million. It's going to be something more along the lines of 3 million, maybe 3.5 million. It doesn't seem like an awful lot. It seems like enough for the league to just say, Let, make, let's make this go away. The real question is, why would Colin Kaepernick settle for that small an amount? If he truly believed what he claimed he's believed in the whole time. Or if he truly had the information or his lawyers had the information that they've been bluffing. So many of these wokity wokity pro blackity blacks into believing that they have information or had information that they don't have or have never had. This information benefits the NFL. And therefore, who do you think it was leaked by and why? Of course. But, but why wouldn't you leak that if you're the NFL? You want to show those around you, the ancillary forces or the corporations who still want to invest in the NFL, that, that this is a dead issue. And you don't have to worry about Colin Kaepernick stirring the pot anymore. And if he does come back, he's going to be a good boy. So if you are the NFL, or if you're dealing with Kaepernick and you want to make it go away, you do. You sign a confidentiality agreement, and then maybe someone with your interests in mind, maybe someone in your employ, but maybe someone else, leaks information to a publication that the amount wasn't that high, guys. So how do I think it makes Kaepernick look like someone who who made the NFL realize they had a problem on their hands and the NFL paid to make it go away and is now doing damage control. That's what it that's what it looks like to me. Or the NFL is just out to embarrass him. Why would they want to embarrass him? Because he sought to embarrass them. That's normally how business negotiations go when one side feels that the other side is not operating in good faith or when both sides feel that the other side is not operating in good faith. We know that conversely, Colin Kaepernick could easily have one of his associates leak how much money Colin Kaepernick actually received if it was far more than what is being alleged by the Wall Street Journal. And he would not be culpable. He could play the same game. So if he's making or if he's receiving far more money than the $10 million, he could have someone else leak a counter figure. And how would the NFL prove that Colin Kaepernick is the one who's doing it if he's just doing the same thing that they're doing? So both sides can play the game. But if the NFL is the only side that is leaking out this type of information with numbers and Kaepernick's side does not leak out an opposing number, we'll know who's telling the truth. Colin Kaepernick looks bad. I don't care what anybody says. He's always looked bad. And Stephen A. Smith, you know that he's always looked bad. It's just that it's taken you a very long time for you to have the courage to say so because you did not want to be called a quote-unquote coon by the pro-blackity blacks on the internet. And the reason why I say he looks bad for a couple of reasons. Number one, the amount was expected to be far more exorbitant. But as I said, to be consistent with my position from weeks ago, I don't give a damn how much money he got in agreements. What I'm interested in, work, in, in knowing are the stipulations he capitulated to and he forced the NFL to capitulate to. Like and here's another question, Stephen A. Smith. How much of that money is Colin Kaepernick planning on donating or reinvesting in the causes that he alleges to believe in so strongly. Like, for example, are you going to get another job back in the National Football League? 
if you don't get another job, um, you know what? That means they've successfully gone about the business of blackballing you. No, not quite. If Kaepernick does not get another job, all that means is that they're done with him and he's done with them. It would behoove teams that actually need a quarterback to search out every option. And if Kaepernick happens to be one of those options, now they can feel free to try to do so. But if he continues with the mentality that he seems to have had over the last three years, he's going to turn down teams who are not willing to pay him like the starting quarterback. Because Kaepernick believes that he's as good as anybody in the NFL. He believes that he should not have to try to prove himself. And these other teams want him to try to prove himself. If you were to come back to the league, did you agree that you stand from now on as opposed to taking a knee? Uh, the kind of issues that you swore you wanted the NFL and society to pay rapt attention to and to address and the position that you took that you would not stop uh, the kneeling uh, until those issues were addressed. Did the NFL give you the appropriate level of, 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 of I don't want to use the word security, but did they satisfy you enough that you were saying, OK, all right, y'all are going about doing things uh, according to what I stood for. And I Stephen A. Smith, we know that the answer to all of your questions is no. What the NFL basically told Colin Kaepernick is we both know that you have nowhere near the amount of proof that you're trying to allege that you have. We're going to give you a, a send off. Nice little check for you and Eric Reed. Three point three million dollars for the both of you after you pay your lawyer fees. Three point five million with however much the figure actually is. And if you want, we'll open up a roster spot on one of these teams and you can do your best to make the team. Probably the Carolina Panthers, a team along those lines. We'll see. We'll find out. But that's all that they're going to give him, Stephen A. Smith, because the story is starting to die down. And I'm good with that. We don't know any of these things. So all and you're not going to know because there's an NDA. So stop asking questions that you're never going to get the answers to. Beyond that, as I've stated in other videos, what does Kaepernick do if he's allowed to return to an NFL team? Does he speak to the media about this situation? Does he brush it off? Has he been already warned that if you come back into the NFL, you're not going to be allowed to kneel? So don't try it. If you do try to kneel, we're going to have to pursue other channels to make sure that you don't spread the level of chaos that you spread the last time. All we know is the NFL had a grievance filed against them by Colin Kaepernick. Collusion. We don't know if he was able to prove that. Chances were or he was not. The NFL sat up there, gave him a few million dollars because people were speculating. If you remember at the time, Will Max, people were speculating over fifty million dollars. They were they were throwing out all types of numbers. It certainly was it, 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 it certainly was perceived as being higher than ten million dollars. So you got ten million dollars or less, and we don't know for what. We don't. We know what he got the money for. He got the hush money. He got the money to go away. Okay. Like they say, what do you pay a prostitute for? You don't pay a prostitute to fuck you, you pay her to leave. <laughs> we don't know what they capitulated to. We don't know what you capitulated to. Which begs the question, what did you really do all of this for? And that For attention. That's what all Marxist Negroes do it for. They do it for attention. They don't do it for real change because they have no end game. That's what I've been telling you brothers for the longest time. That fact that that question 